Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm just pretty much just going to show off what all I've did in the past couple of days. Sorry for me not uploading videos very often. I've been, you know, busy since, you know, Thanksgiving and all that. But, uh, built me a little XP farm here. Nothing real complicated. It's not at 100% efficiency yet. But, uh, once I get some of these places and caves filled in that are deep below here, around here and here. Hopefully, eventually, they'll all spawn up there during the day. And then I have a little switch I can flip. If a mob drops to where I can't get it, then I can use it to push it back. But anyway, got me some trees now. I had uh, forgotten to pick up a sapling or two while I was uh, coming here. So I had to go all the way back and get mo get a couple more. But I've noticed I'm getting a lot of large trees, and that's really annoying. I think I'm going to actually have to build an actual farm. But let's go into the house. I did a little decorating. Not much. I'm not done with it at all. I just got sidetracked because I needed more stuff for it. And here we go down to the dungeon. Right, that's why I like to give it. That's why I gave it the feel of the stronghold and the mossy cobblestone and all that. And it goes into the storage room. I still don't even have all the chests built yet, but I can access all the top ones because back here there's a up here are stairs. Which are count as transparent blocks and you can open them through it. Then back here is the most annoying place you'll ever be around. I have a sheep farm. So I have lots of ideas for sheep. And the reason why I have uh, wool in front of their gates is because they have yet to add where their fleece grows back. Which I'm pretty sure they probably will in the next major update they, just, they have. But they, it's, they still don't. And that's for when, if I'm doing a huge project and I decide to shear them right then and there. I can just shear them and then bring, and then, uh, I'll know where they're at. I'll know what color is what instead of not knowing. I'm going to decorate up this too. I just ain't had the time yet. I've mainly been working on this. And... This back here, my little switch thing, hidden room, where I keep all my farms. Got a wheat farm because I have a, have cows back there and a, all those sheep, and they don't get bread without wheat. So and then I have. A little cactus farm, just to climb in with the cacti cactuses I need for green wool. Got a nether portal. Of course, everyone has to have a ne nether portal. Go to the nether. Yeah. This is a, probably the only non-automatic farm I have, and that's just because it requires a lot of resources to build an automatic um, reed, reed farm. that sound? Oh crap. I've never even heard the Enderman sound before. It sounds kind of creepy. Yes. Sounds really creepy. Where did he spawn at? I'm really worried because I don't want to trample my crops but I don't want to die either. Fix the problem. Oh, where he spawned? I think he spawned right there. I think he spawned up here. That no, it makes it too dark there. I think it's like spawn there. I can borrow this. 
this torch. I just don't want them spawning. But this took a lot of time to build, especially this cactus farm. Getting it just right was really annoying. Here's the redstone wiring for the uh, thing. I made a basic uh, andor or an ore gate, not an andor. So that as long as one of them is flipped, then it's open. But if one of them's not flipped, yeah, watch. Flip both of them, nothing happens. I flip this as many times as I want. Nothing happened. I'm pretty sure that's off now. Yeah. I accidentally messed it up one time and I went in there and tried to redo the redstone. And I finally realized what I did. Oh, I ran back here. I don't know how I'm going to do this hallway yet. I'm thinking of doing every color of wool. Or every color of wool of the sheet back there. I'm eventually going to have like a secret entrance right here hidden behind something. Maybe a bookshelf. Or something. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'm going to have some storage out here. My item incinerator. Here's my food. Here we go. Here's some food. Go down here. Oh yeah, that's just a bunch of junk. I started to build a slime farm down here, and uh, I couldn't get them to spawn. They would not spawn, so I turned that into a little enchanting room. Yeah, I've got my little mining set up and branch mining. I've stopped for right now because I have plenty of resources, so I decided to start building. Something valuable in there. I plan on adding an elevator all the way down to right here because it's annoying to climb ladders. And something else I want to show you. Go around this way. I think it's all cleared off. Yeah, I started to build it. I was trying to build it by just thinking about it. But I had built my base right on top of a stronghold. I didn't go too much into exploring it. I just explored the areas around where I was building to make sure I wasn't going to obstruct nothing. Which I'm pretty sure I didn't. Because everything else is, I think, deeper over that way. I oh, know, wait, it was. Oh yeah, it's over that way. Or lower one. Like the only thing I found that was over here that was of really any importance was a uh, dungeon. Hence why I have brown sheep. I don't hear any slimes. So. Cause there's a chunk right there. And then there's two chunks over here. That are slime. Hey, there is a slime. I saw one, I think. I've been dreaming. Oh, there he is. And I'm also using random random mob, I think that's what it's called. Or it's not the same mob. You're not looking at the same mob the whole time. You're looking at a bunch of different mobs. Like, there's even random mobs for sheep. They just changes their face. I thought that was pretty interesting, even though, you know, you don't really look at the same sheep all the time. And then I got my little enchanting room. Where I enchant stuff. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make like a 
to a lab down here. I'm gonna put it like an alchemy lab. Like I'm gonna build the alchemy lab like right in here. Like a brewing and stuff. And it's gonna come right in here. And it's also for whenever uh, equivalent exchange updates to 1.0. Also, because I love that mod, the mod. In my opinion, they should add the uh, most of it to it. Just because of the, the way you can get rid of annoying resources you don't need anymore. Like in the beginning, you know, you can have a bunch of cobblestone and use a lot of it. I think I have three or four chests full of cobblestone now. Got a bunch of cobble there. And, uh, stuff. Yes, I do use mods. I'm one of the few people who probably don't. I got an end of pearl. Which is very, uh, that enderman, not enderman. That mob spawner doesn't spawn enderman. I made it enderman proof. I'm making it only too high. Let's make sure nothing spawns back here again. Okay, good. I don't think it will. I want to be cleaning up this room eventually. There we go. Clean it up everywhere. So, uh, hopefully the next episode I'll have a lot more to show you. Like I said, I plan on adding an elevator down there by next episode. And hopefully it won't take me as long to get this episode out as it did, uh, this one. Yeah, it takes time to do all that stuff. I love that. I love water drops. Why did I come down here? I don't know. I guess just to waste time. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video, and uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave comments, whatever you want to do. And thanks for watching.